To say a lot has changed in six months might be the understatement of 2020. But quantifying that change in Denver is no easy task. Still, Emily Brett gladly accepts the challenge. You know, knowing the, the data about downtown um, is really uh, at the core of of our mission. She's been tracking economic data at the downtown Denver partnership for the last eight years. Usually the data lags a few months behind, but this year Brett really dove in to find numbers in real time. We really need and our community and business owners need to know what was happening, you know, a couple days ago or tomorrow would be even better. She calls her latest report released Friday the most positive to date though she knows the term is relative. Because, you know, all the numbers are still so off where we wanted to be this year. Year over year, pedestrian traffic was down 75% this August. But the Saturday before Labor Day saw the most pedestrians downtown since March. Citywide, our re restaurants in Denver actually had their first positive day year over year in terms of total seated diners. Brett found people are spending 10% more time at home compared to pre-pandemic numbers. When they do leave the house, they're making 26 percent fewer visits to retail shops and 37 percent fewer visits to the office. One thing remains the same. People are venturing out more on the weekends. On Sunday, they're only spending 3% more of their time at home. For right now, it's really amazing that we're able to get an, a, a kind of data driven um, report on what consumers are doing and, and what they're looking for. Allie Levine, Nine News. So Brett tells us all that data is anonymous. You don't have to worry about privacy concerns here. Her work helps the city better understand the pandemic's economic impact. You can find a link to that full report if you want to read it all. It's up right now at 9news.com.